Okay, so many a times you must have seen that on the round, the consultant is labeling a patient as cardiorenal syndrome and saying that the prognosis is not good. So what is cardiorenal syndrome and why it is important? So understand that cardiorenal syndrome, basically these are the spectrum of diseases in which acute and chronic dysfunction in one organ can lead to acute and chronic dysfunction in the other. Means if the heart is involved, it will affect the kidney. If the kidney is in, involved, it will affect the heart. So basically there are five types. The first one is acute cardiorenal syndrome, means there is an acute insult in the heart and it can lead to acute insult in the kidney. Like if the patient suffers an MI or acute coronary syndrome, there is a hypotension and then it can lead to AKI. So this is acute cardiorenal syndrome. Second is chronic cardiorenal syndrome, like if the patient is having low ejection friction for a longer period of time and uh, this is causing a hypotensive state or the blood pressure remains low and now because of this the kidney is also affected and the patient develops CKD. So this is chronic cardiorenal syndrome. The third one is acute renocardic syndrome, when there is an acute insult in the kidney and it is affecting the heart. So for example, if the patient acute develops acute uh, renal failure and because of this, there is a diastolic heart failure or the patient develops uh, arrhythmias for, because of hyperkalemia sort of thing. So this is acute renocardic syndrome. Now, fourth one is chronic renocardic syndrome means the patient has a chronic kidney disease and because of this, the patient develops hypertension and the patient develops azotemia and because of this, now the patient develops a chronic heart failure uh, condition like uh, left ventricular hypertrophy and now uh, diastolic heart failure or the or the patient develops a global hypokinesia anemia because of the uremia in the patients for or azotemia in the patient for a longer period of time so this is chronic renocardic syndrome now the fifth one is secondary cardiorenal syndrome means there is a systemic disease which is affecting simultaneously both the heart and kidney like uh, septic, septic shock, it is affecting the heart also because of the septic cardiomyopathy, it is also affecting the kidney uh, because of the septic shock. Diabetes, it also affects the heart, coronary artery disease, TBDs and the diabetic nephropathy. So this is, uh, is also important cause. Now why it is important to identify the patient is having cardiorenal syndrome? Because the prognosis is not very good, the patient lands in a vicious cycle. Suppose this is heart failure, so the patient needs to be negative valence, it develops palmedema and the kidney will be, help to, will be there to help. But now the kidneys are not functioning well, so where will the uh, urine comes? So if the if urine will accumulate, the fluid will accumulate and the patient again lands in the palmedema. So this sort of vicious cycle. So the prognosis is not good in cardiorenal syndrome, but that this doesn't mean that they can't be managed, but the management is a little bit challenging. So now go and read cardiorenal syndrome and do read more about it.